and here's an article by uh, CBS News it's one of those articles that make you question uh, everything in the world like how can you even type this up uh, alright so here's it here's the headline US farmers are going to be in trouble without foreign labor during the pandemic you understand that how ridiculous that is there is there are 10 million people out of work and this CBS news article is concerned about foreigners about importing foreigners think of the think of the the balls it takes to say that that is utterly ridiculous some of these people need to just be arrested just for stupidity, you know. No, no, don't, 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 don't. Uh, that was a little uh, too much, but you, you understand the the point. It's like, how do you say stuff like that? How do you push that stuff? And and who who would who would actually believe that? That's what I'm wondering. Because there's probably a good percentage of Americans who be like, oh yeah, that's true. Ten million people out of work, but we need more farm labor. That doesn't make sense. But let's start. While the spring harvest season is here in America, CBS News spoke to farmers who say there aren't enough workers. Farm labor, mostly migrant workers, filled more than a quarter million agricultural jobs. So we see what this has. We see what they're asking for. Um, Gary stirred up. Warming but his farm keeps him up at night. All right. So warming but anybody's job will keep somebody up. You know what keeps somebody up even uh, even more than one night? Not having a job. All right. So don't betray American citizens for some virtue signaling. You know, and uh, this is again, CBS knows what you're doing. They know what they're pushing. Okay, this is not by accident. <laughs> if you ever go in any um if anybody's ever seen any like um like news sets if you go in like a uh, news stations, right? Everything is scripted from every single laugh to every single joke. It's entirely scripted, okay? It's 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 almost impossible where you see something that's not out of um, that's not scripted essentially, okay? Seasoned foreign labor, mainly from Mexico, always harvests brims cups, but this spring he could beat two hundred workers. Yeah, hire Americans. I mean, he's facing harvest deadlines. Hire Americans. Hire Americans. You know, I usually feel sorry for farmers, but. So this this ten million dollar work. I don't feel sorry one bit. Hire Americans. Find Americans. You know, plenty of people would jump on opportunity to work on a farm. Believe it or not. Now, besides being all the work, it's because they find it kind of. Uh, I'm gonna say this. They have a false sense of uh, nostalgia, like it's almost romantic. <laughs> hey, it's how some people are, you know. But believe it or not. So 70 miles away, uh, Jeremy White is also in bigger trouble. His blueberry crop is days away from harvest and he needs 100 pickers again. There are people out there, they're stuck in Guatemala. What he wants is cheap labor where you can give people pennies. Flipping people, man. Look, th there's people out there who want to work and I find this, this, this article, especially the timing, really like disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Jeez, you know. Domestic labor just don't want this kind of work. It's unfortunate. But when you have 10 million people out of work, everybody's going to vie for the job. What are you talking about? You know, this is... This is an absolute hideous article. And CBS... I don't know. CBS, if I, if I watched, I would... Uh, I would uh, oh, if I even... Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I was gonna say if I even, we even cared about them on Twitter, I'll tweet them. But who cares? <laughs> they don't get tweets anyway. I love these like big companies like like CBS and CNN, and NBC. They don't get a lot of tweets. That's what I notice. They get almost no tweets. It's usually the online media that gets tweets. <laughs> no. Anyway, this is a this is a crappy article uh, written with a crappy agenda, full of nonsense. And CBS should be damn ashamed of themselves for for writing and daring to print such other trash. This is trash. How dare you say this? 
especially when uh, America is in pain right now. All right, guys, take care. I hope you enjoyed. This is this was a, a just a absolute abomination of a headline and story by uh, CBS News. Take care, share, say, subscribe, thumbs up. You know the story. Be safe. Bye.